Good afternoon, good evening, Tin Man here. I got a little 2x8 for Rob, Mr. Master Cylinder, out on the West Coast, out in California. He uh, won a little 2x8 and uh, went ahead and took care of him. This is an all Toshiba box. It originally started out with two 2290s pushing eight 2879s. Uh, just, uh, I wasn't getting the results that I really wanted. I went ahead and uh, upgraded him to two 2879s driving eight 2879s. And uh, I went ahead and uh, I, I talked to him. He, he initially didn't want a variable. We went ahead and put a variable on it. Um, I went ahead and added on uh, the uh, staging for him uh, so he can have an 8 pill. Or if he turns it on, it'll be a 2 by 8 And let's demonstrate. So you turn your power on. Those blue lights are deadly. All right. So as you see, let me get a little bit more of an angle from it here. The 8 pill section is just on, but the 2 by, two by 8 section is not. So, I think the 2 by 8 section is on. You gotta light the reference, the 2 by 8 section with this switch. Um, you put uh, the quiet blue fans in it. Let's start back over here. Uh, hit the button. <laughs> course uh, that's for remote we put uh, four eight gauge wires on it on both you asked for 22 inches I believe we gave you about 24 26 um, also silver Teflon in and out This is uh, amp number 125003. In all actuality, this is amp number 226. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. We're going to open up and go on the inside. Bright blue LEDs. 10 man, in. 10 man back with Rob's 2 by 8 Master cylinder on the west coast. Let's go on the inside. So we have two 2879 drivers pushing eight 2879, all matching, all the same lot. 1L, 1L. Each set was matched within 2% tolerance. Uh, the transistors had a uh, 115 beta gain on them. This is a hot little 2x8. Um, and then of course we staged it and we tuned it. We added some buffer in here uh, so because I know you have a hot radio. Uh, added your remote. And we'll go ahead and go to the meter. Now, you had mentioned to me that uh, you have a, um, you know, uh, I believe you said your radio is doing like 35 or 40 watts. So I wanted to mimic what you have. So I'm, today we're going to uh, use the 99V instead of the Cobra. And uh, we're going to do some testing here. Now, we have birds, all birds. And we have uh, scope as well, but uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's take out this 5,000 watt slug. Let's represent with a 500. We do have genuine bird PEP kit. It is on. See the red light. We can turn it off. We can turn it on. Blah 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 blah. And reflect to the radio. That is a 5 watt. Reflect to the antenna. That is a 25 watt. And the scope. So, let's just go ahead and test the radio. I believe we have it about a quarter of the way. 
and we'll, we'll just test the wattage. Uh, we got an LPA 100 too. Uh, 42, 45, you see my SWRs are really low. And my tuning on my uh, amps are tuned via dummy load, and then I retuned via antenna on this antenna. That's key up. I can go to a 5 watt day key, down to 1.5, I'm modulating. You see, we work with a 1.5 SWR, 1.05 SWR flat. Hello, 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 hello. All right, and we also do work with this the scope. So we're on 26. Eh, we're off there a little bit. 26, 985. All this is set up with via RF tap coming off of the, the bird meter here so there's no tricks. The scope's even hooked up with the uh, the BNC connectors. You know, no, no, nothing false here. All this is going through. All right. So first we'll start off in the uh, just the eight pill section and uh, we'll set about halfway. And uh, we are working around uh, 15 volts. Uh, I can change it out, but uh, uh, we'll, we'll probably change it out towards the end, and you'll be able to see um, what uh, um, you're doing actually in your vehicle around 13.8 to uh, uh, 15 volts. 500 watt slug. Now this is just radio drive. We'll go ahead and turn it up since we are just on the 8 pill section, not with the 2 by 8 500 watt slug, in peak. Uh... Alright, so we're going to go at least to a 1000 watt slug. Uh... 700 with just radio drive. Just radio drive. The 2 by 8 section is not on. Uh, one big issue he was complaining about was SWRs uh, when when getting his ass, his last box. Um, uh, we don't have SWR issues here. All right, so let's go and turn the 2 by 8 section on. Turn the radio drive back down to about half of the way, about a quarter of the way. And we're definitely going to take out that 1,000 watt slug. It's a 10K slug, 5K slug, 5K. So we're reading the middle section. So there's 100, 200, uh, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, and 5,000. Uh, 40 issue over here. Yeah, right middle video on the mic cord wouldn't go out on me. Isn't that funny? All right, let me let me put another mic on it. I'll be right back. All right, we're back. Swapped out mics here. Sorry. So we are floating at 22.6. Let's go ahead and show what the key down voltage is. Uh... Oh, sorry, I didn't have that turned all the way up there. Uh, 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 2300. Uh, that LPA seems to be off a little bit. Uh, I seem to believe my birds more than I do anywhere else. But SWR 1.14. 1.14. 1.14. Uh, all right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and swap back to uh, uh, 14 volts and show you what you'll be working with on your on your vehicle. All right, we'll be back to a minute. All right, we're back. Same thing. We got two meters up here. This one right here is 
dropping capacitance you see we're not like we're not using it right now we're currently on this one it's floating at 18.8 .8. we dropped to uh, 13 13.2 so actually might be a little bit low but uh we'll show we're still uh set a quarter of the way we're still in the two pill section both uh sections are on 5,000 watt slug still in peak mode uh, 1500 only doing 13.7 volts so let me put the phone down here let's uh take the power supply and bump it up a little bit different power supply so we're, we're still in this one this one's floating at uh, 21.7 it's uh, 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 non-regulated and don't pay attention to the amps the amps don't register here correctly uh, so that'll be your reference point 15.4 15.4 uh, 1850 1.03 1 SWR uh, 1.01 uh, no reflect uh, yeah this was a uh, extremely uh, uh, decent build here for you there Rob uh, you'll be quite pleased uh, all Toshiba I've uh, talked on it for about um, probably got about four or five hours in it probably got more than 25 keys in it <laughs> hang on probably got 25 keys in it just testing here on these videos going back and forth but uh, man I, I hope you're pleased uh, I got one last video to make once I seal it up I'm gonna put my my warranty stickers on it and document it vi via the video Rob, Mr. Master Cylinder, it's been a pleasure, my man. And, uh, of course, guys, if you see anything here you like and you think that uh, Tin Man can take care of you, we're always here. Just give us a call or visit us at TinManAmps.com. Thank you, guys. I'll be right back. Tin Man back. One last time. Warranty decals. 424-035. Can we get in on that one? Three. Four, two, four, zero, three, four. And to just confirm, we're still working with the same box. Man, focus issues. One, two, five, zero, zero, three. Rob. Oh, by the way, those fans are quiet. High flow, low noise. Rob, Mr. Master Cylinder, West Side. I got down, boy.